Hey everybody, it's Josh here. Me too. Oh yeah, and Flat Jesus is here too. Say hi. Hi. I wanted to introduce you all to somebody new. This is Millie. She's our dog. She is a Havanese. She is eight pounds and nine years old and she's all puppy. When she was an actual puppy, I taught her a few tricks. Maybe some of you all have pets too that are able to do some cool tricks. You know, Millie loves to do tricks and not just because of the treats, although admittedly, that's a big part of the draw, but it's also because of the relationship. She loves the connection between me and her, to be able to do these fun little tricks together. She loves the connection. She loves the relationship. She knows that I put in a lot of time and that memory kicks in whenever we're doing these tricks that time and energy that we spent together when she was little. Now, my son, Josiah, tries to do the tricks with her too, but as you can imagine, it's been a little bit different. In fact, the clips that you're watching right here is probably the most successful she's ever been at doing these tricks with Josiah because he hasn't put in the time. He hasn't put in the energy. He hasn't built the relationship yet. It's wonderful that apparently it's starting to pay off now. A lot of you probably know what a shepherd is. You may also know that Jesus once called himself the Good Shepherd. What did he mean by that? It's that Jesus walks with the sheep. He takes them where they need to go. And when they get there, the gatekeeper Meh. says, who's there? And Jesus says, Meh. it's me, Jesus. Meh. I'm here with my sheep. And the gatekeeper says, oh yes, I know you. I recognize Meh. your voice. Come on in. And Jesus says, come on, sheep. Yeah. The sheep say, yes, I know that voice too. I will come and follow. Because they know the voice. Because Jesus, the good shepherd, spent time with them. He walks with them. People don't love or trust from a distance easily. Couldn't you imagine trusting somebody that you've just met or somebody you didn't even know at all? God wanted us to trust God. So God couldn't be unreachable. God had to be a shepherd. And so Jesus is God coming to be with us like a shepherd, right there in the muck of the pastures with us. God and Jesus put in the work, put in the time to build a relationship with us so that we could hear God's voice. Not just so that we could do silly tricks, but to be with us, to help us take the next step. You know, good parents, good teachers, good pastors, good leaders of any sort can't make bad things go away all the time. But they can help us take next steps by walking with us through the journey to help us figure out what to do next. That's what a shepherd does. And God continues to walk with us like a good shepherd, even in the midst of this terrible pandemic. Remember, God put in the work. So while God doesn't always make the storms of life go away, God does walk with us through those storms like a good shepherd. The pandemic's not going to disappear tomorrow, but God is going to walk with us and come out with us on the other side. Maybe, just maybe, we could learn a lesson from our Good Shepherd and not try to solve each other's problems or try to cover over our pain, but share our pain with each other, listen to each other, and walk with each other through the storm. Maybe we could do that for each other in a new way this week. Maybe there's somebody in your house or somebody that you're Zoom conferencing with that might need an encouraging word or an encouraging note or just a listening ear. Think about a way that you can reach out in a new way this week. And as you walk together this week in safe ways, of course, remember, Jesus walks with us. Yes, I do. And so I'd love to see a picture again of you and Jesus together in a picture. If you want to Don't send me the pictures. picture of you walking with or hanging out with Jesus in your house, see that. send that picture to me through email or text and I'd love to see them. You all are amazing and wonderful. Take care of each other. We will see each other again soon.